Okay, today I want to talk to you about the Celestron's hand control unit for their uh, CGM mount. The problem with this, um, with this hand control is the cord itself. The cord measures out about, oh, about 12 inches in length, um, and it's just simply too short. When the telescope's slewing around when you're trying to do your, your star alignment, the cord starts stretching, starts tugging, um, the, it starts to get kind of caught around part of the mount itself, and it's just kind of a real pain in the butt. So what I did is, is I went up to my local electronics store, purchased some six conductor flat wire, which is really the same stuff as, the, uh, as this coiled wire here. Um, had them install a six pin connector, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Of course, I'm going to avoid the warranty, I'm sure, but whatever. I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to go ahead and solder the wiring to the inside of the unit itself. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about when this is actually installed on the mount itself and what happens. Okay, so this is what happens as your uh, mount is slowing, as you're doing your star alignment. It starts to pull out. Also, it's, uh, it's just a little too close to the whole mount itself as you're trying to do any adjustments and stuff. I just want this to be at a uh, comfortable distance so I can just kind of stand back and do my programming, whatever I need to do, and not have this thing yanking on the actual connector. I'm afraid it's, uh, it's going to pull this thing out one day. So this is another reason why I want to uh, change the uh, cord out to something that's just longer and more uh, user-friendly. And another improvement I made was to the holder for the hand control. What I like to do is leave this in here at times and just, just want to push the buttons like this. What would happen is that I would push the buttons and this whole thing would just kind of rock around inside the holder. So I just came up with a real simple idea is I took a hacksaw and I just cut a slot right here and cut a slot here and then I just bent the uh, aluminum tabs forward just enough to where it will touch. You can actually see some of the marking right here. It will have some like a, like a backer. So it will just touch the back of the hand controller. So you just slide this thing down and it sits right here still like it normally would. Comes down and it doesn't move. Well, up here, but you're not pushing there. You're just going and pushing your buttons here and, uh, and it works great. So just another simple quick fix. Okay, this is what the inside of the hand controller looks like. I took the, uh, there's six screws you have to remove, pop them out. This connector fits right in here. Okay, so it's kind of a little pain to get that out, but that pops out, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut back, I'm gonna cut these wires about a half inch back from here, half inch back that way. I stripped this wire back one and a half inches. I'm going to cut, the, uh, strip the ends of the uh, wires here, strip these ends just by uh, maybe a, a sixteenth of an inch, solder them together, I solder them right on there, just butt them up, and before I actually solder them up, I'm going to take some small uh, heat shrink tubing, just about maybe a, uh, maybe a quarter inch, maybe half inch at the most, and I'm going to slide them up the, the wires first, then make my connections, solder them up, and then apply the uh, heat shrink to it, so that should... Uh, that should take care of that part of it. Okay, I just completed my solder connection here. As you can see, all six conductors. Be sure you put the heat shrink tubing on the wires first before you make the solder connections. If you forget to do that, then you'll have to desolder everything and redo it all over, and that's going to be a real pain in the butt. Second, be sure also that you get the wiring connected in the proper configuration here. This is the original. This is the original. This is the original clip. That's the original plug right here. These wires here are my, is from the new wiring. As you can see, the coloring doesn't match except for the green. That doesn't really matter as long as you match the configuration th from the original plug to the original connection here make sure that you have all your wiring properly ran or else you can probably blow out the circuitry somehow or another so don't make that mistake and um, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the unit all back together here. Okay, I have it all put back together here. Um, as you can see, the wire comes out the back nice and clean. I also have the uh, filter I put back under, so don't forget to put that back on. Um, so let's go ahead and plug it right in. Plug it into the, uh, the mount. And as you can see, the, uh, the cord is nice and long and much more convenient, much easier to use. Slide right into the bolster. And it works out very well. So uh, this should uh, should take care of the problem with the other original cord. It's just simply just too short.